Today, I'm showing you all of the small changes that I made to my dining room for fall. These changes are small, but they have a lot of fall charm. Let's get started. This is something that you haven't seen yet. My cousin recently gave me this primitive table. I'm not exactly sure of the style or what this type of table is called excuse me, what this type of table is called. My family member made this a long time ago. Um, as you can see, this is rough cut. You can see the marks from the saw. There is some paint splatter, but I didn't have the heart to try to remove that. Um, this is just a piece that's been used and used over the years so i love all of the character that this table has and it's a perfect size for this space and you can see how it's joined together there is a drawer it is a functioning drawer um, it didn't have any handles on it when my cousin gave it to me and I don't think I'm going to add any. And this is what the, I don't have anything in here yet, but you can get a look at the drawer. You can see just how old it is. My cousin that gave me this is the same cousin that gave me my Hoosier cupboard. She also gave me another stand, but I won't be sharing that today. Um, did I get that shut? Let me see. I think I did. On top of it, I just laid a folded burlap bag and an old sieve. I have a few of the standing scales like this, but this one is my favorite. And I made these pantry cakes last fall. And I believe I made a video of how I made these cakes. So if I still have that, I'll be sure to link it below. And I hung one of my aprons and bonnets. In the pocket, I tucked a sprig of Sweet Annie. My cousin also gave me this little, little footstool. So I am planning to dry these little squash. When I bought them, they said they were, I think, potato squash. They kind of look like a butternut squash to me. They are little, but I thought if I can dry these, they are going to look so nice. I recently dried some gourds and I shared those in one of my last videos. So I'll also link that below in my description box. And on the side, I have a couple of my larger mashers, my butter churn, and this sweet little kitty that's made from some ticking. And some of you might remember when I bought this over the summer. This is your first look, finally, of how I decorated with it. And also the teddy bear. Gosh, you guys, I've been so busy. I haven't, there's a lot of things I haven't shared with you guys yet. Um, but I love this antique high chair. And look at the sweet little teddy. Ah, oh, I just, Love him sitting in there. So sweet. And I just put one of my antique butter paddles and these are like some little candle nubs. Thought that would look cute like that. Um, and up above, this is how I decorated this cupboard. And some of you probably also remember, I bought this candle holder at the same time. 
and the candle holder I bought at the Shepherd's Keeper at Kinderhook. This beautiful quilt I recently bought probably about maybe a month or two ago at the windmill in Penyon, New York. So beautiful. It is handmade. And I paid under a hundred dollars for this quilt. The items in the cupboard, I left those the same. The only thing that I changed up was I added these little wooden bowls. And on the side, I don't think I've even shared this with you. Um, I have, this is from an old pot belly stove. And this antique muffin pan. Now we'll take a look at the rest of my dining room. I have the light turned down to hopefully help on the glare. And I think you should be able to really get um, a good look at everything. So this is, let me actually back up here a little bit. Um, this is my dining room table. I really love this rug. Um, I just bought this last winter my gorgeous table my husband made for me as a christmas gift a few years ago and i love this so much we bought the chairs from amazon the chairs complement the table perfectly This is how I styled my tablescape. I didn't place any dishes or cups. I just thought it looked beautiful, just like this. This is an antique sieve. I added some Indian corn, a few gourds. This is my primitive scoop. And I placed some dried wheat inside. I did make these faux bread. I made these last year. I have my two old dressing gowns hanging. Let's take a closer look at this area. And if you're new to my channel, this is actually a bicentennial stereo and cabinet. I fell in love with it. I thought it would look perfect to just tuck some pretty little things inside and the stereo still works. Getting a little closer here. I have a couple antique cookbooks tucked in the corner. So my brother just gave me this hide over the summer. It's a bobcat hide. Thought it would look nice just to hang it there. I'm going to get on a different angle here and show you. Here we go. That's a better view. And 
And I apologize if you can hear the background noise. We do have a fire in our fireplace today. Um, it's very cold and damp. So these are some primitive scoops. I wanted to do something different with my scoops. So my husband helped me to drill a really tiny little hole inside them so I could use them as candle holders. And my picture of the peasant girl. And on top of my cupboard, I, have a, I laid a Quaker lace tablecloth and I just placed some dried floral, some dried stems inside my antique dough bowl. And I kind of just shuffled around the stuff that I had inside my cupboard. I like these pieces, so I didn't want to change what I had in here, so just moved things around a little bit. I did, um, I added some more burlap bags to my one firkin bucket and I added some Indian corn to this one and then just a couple mashers. On this side of the picture, I have another sieve hanging and inside of it, I just laid a dried piece of grapevine. On the door, I hung a corn dryer and it is also an antique. So now I'll just show you again. And I'm just gonna turn around here and show you how this ties in with my dry sink. I shared my dry sink in my last video but just in case you're stopping by for the first time. And I will share my foyer, how I decorated that with you in my video below in my description box. I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope it inspired your fall decorating or your primitive decorating all through the year.